I used to be shocked and amazed when weird things happened in the world that seemed to be connected to each other, but were too weird to be just a coincidence. Now I think it's funny. Not in a ha-ha sort of way, but in a this is so strange, and so obviously connected with fill in the blank, I feel like I am sitting ringside in a circus tent sort of funny. What is going on? Well, that is kind of a stupid question. You don't sit in the audience at a circus and when a dozen clowns stumble out of a tiny clown car say what is going on. You may not know how they pulled off the trick, but you know they did. And you laugh. I don't think I've ever seen anyone at a magic show run out of the theater, terrified that something supernatural was going on. Everyone laughs and smiles and is amazed. Isn't that something? They exclaim. That is sort of what this is like. Until you think about it carefully, then it isn't funny anymore, and you start wondering what kind of magic is going on. And it is indeed scary. I guess that is where I am with all of this. But only if I think about it. If I don't think about it, I then wonder when the theater lights are going to come up and I can go home. The bridge incident in Baltimore was a recent happening, and the odd story around Kate Middleton's disappearance and her strange touched-up photos another. Remember the train derailments? Epstein's suicide? And a plethora of other odd happenings. Add to that really weird crap like thousands of children disappearing, very odd UFO sightings, faceless animals showing up on beaches, and birds dropping dead from the skies. Over a month ago, when the solar eclipse was upon us, everyone running around as if their heads had been chopped off. What is that about? Of course, we are all still here. Right. Have some of U.S. been taken up to the mothership? Ah, uh, yes, these sorts of weird things have always happened, you may say. And that is true, to some extent. It does not seem they have happened as often as they are now happening, and they have not, in the past, seemed to be so elegantly correlated with other strange happenings. Take the recent key bridge downing by a large barge-like ship. Many are relating this incident to incidents in the recent movie Leave the World Behind. There was indeed a large red barge as a key character in the movie, but not much else to match up the two incidents. What about the fact the movie was produced by Michelle and Barack Obama? Yeah, what about it? Seems a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? Sure it does, but there is more to it. It is odd that the Obamas would produce some frivolous fear-bait nonsense like Leave the World Behind. It just isn't their style. It is odd that a barge, much like the barge in their movie, would run into a bridge. That sort of thing doesn't happen every day. And on further examination, it is odd the barge would lose power twice, and the bridge would collapse in the manner that it did, with what certainly appeared to be flashes of light at key structural points of the collapse. Okay, okay, I do sound like a dreaded conspiracy theorist, don't I? But this stuff is just too frequent, too weird, and too seemingly correlated with other odd events to just ignore. I have often wondered if it is just all a way to make us go batty. I think of the old series, The Prisoner, starring Patrick McGuhan. Here is a resigned British spy who has been kidnapped and finds himself in a strange bizarre world that ultimately makes no sense. It makes him go batty. How about the movie The Truman Show? Jim Carrey's character also occupies a surreal world he thinks is real, but turns out to be a television set all designed to be entertainment to a viewing audience in on the secret. Maybe it is something like that. All created as a grand puzzle to perplex us. Maybe on the home world of the Lizard Masters, this sort of entertainment is a specialty. Is the world we live in so seriously manipulated by powers beyond our awareness? That movies like Leave the World Behind are in fact premonitions of events soon to actually happen? And the events that are happening, such as the Baltimore Bridge collapsing, and Kate Middleton disappearing, are all designed to make us incapable of distinguishing up from down? Some people have more elaborate reasons for all of this nonsense, like destroying bridges so people cannot enter or leave major cities when the flying monkeys pour out of the dark hole the moon left as it obscured the sun on April 8th. Maybe they are right, but historically, the more interesting speculations don't happen. The world, over eons of existence, has a limit to how interesting it can be. The really crazy stuff does not typically happen. 
until now. Well, we can't be sure that crazy stuff didn't happen years ago. We weren't actually there 10,000 years ago. Maybe really crazy things did happen back then. Maybe crazy things happened 1,000 years ago, or 100 years ago, or 50 years ago. How would we know they didn't? How do we know how the great cathedrals were constructed in the 1700s and 1800s? Hell, we have no idea how the pyramids were built, even though every school kid thinks he or she knows. What is it now? Is it still slaves that built them? Or is it now armies of Egyptians with their reed barges toting megaton slabs of granite 700 miles down the Nile? What bull are they teaching kids in 2024? I know in my lifetime crazy things like huge steel and concrete buildings didn't fall unless it was explained that aluminum aircraft plowed into them. Presidents were not assassinated through a complex conspiratorial network of CIA masters and their cohorts, but rather by a single bullet fired by one arbitrary crazy guy hundreds of feet from his target. Five billion people were not vaccinated with a practically unknown substance unless a killer from an infected didn't threaten the entire world population. No. No crazy things have happened in my lifetime. Nothing unexplainable, at least. But it gets crazier and crazier, and less and less easy to explain. How do you explain all of this? Well, apparently it is easy enough for the big kahunas to clarify. The agenda has no trouble spitting out explanations that most people believe. Climate change is responsible for the proliferation of heart attacks and myocarditis. Sure, why not? Kids get strokes too. Sure, why not? Autism increases in children by hundreds of percentage points for no reason. Sure, why not? Vac are the cause? No. Why not? Because we said so. Okay. I could go on and on with this game. And, as I said, it is getting worse. A strange movie made by the Obamas comes out, and suddenly strange things the movie predicted start to happen and the movie was produced by an ex-president of the United States. And that's not strange? Nope. Anyone claiming any of this is strange and that there is something odd going on is a conspiracy theorist. And we all know what that means. So just sit back and watch the clowns tumbling out of the tiny car. You can be certain more will come out. A lot more. I guarantee it. Welcome, Alice, to Wonderland. Now, it's time for me to hear from you, what are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.